What's up everybody, welcome back to the Chaos. My name is Let's Tech, and today we got some bombing to do. And as you can see, it's almost, uh, it's almost nighttime, so I'm actually gonna sleep real quick before I do that. So if you guys remember, in the last episode I said that I wanted to expose the ancient city underneath this area, over yonder, to the skies. Which means we gotta dig big, which means we gotta dig a big hole. As you can see, I made the towers a lot bigger over there, so you can see that one. Can't really see that one. Okay, in all reality, that's the only one I made bigger. So, kind of what I've done to prepare for that, I will show you here in a second. Whenever I get to it, it's just over yonder. I don't even know if we'll get down this deep, but... oh, I think I still got more... Aww, I didn't do enough. Look at all that water still down there. That's fine, I'll probably not... I probably won't get down that low. I've got sponges anyway. But I started clearing out some of the water over here. So basically, um, this chunk is going to be part of the hole, but um, I got to dig trenches in this chunk here. And this machine is probably going to take out this chunk, and the bigger version of the machine is probably going to take out the chunks next to it. Or at least part of it. It's going to get pretty close. What I had been doing, as you can tell by the sand placed over there, is I've been uh, taking out some of the water. I don't think it's actually going to get that deep, because it's actually going to start over there. And it's going to start 20 blocks from the highest block over there. So, from all the way over here to the pillar over by the base, um, we're going to be building a massive, massive hole. And we're going to do that by building a machine that'll dig that hole for us. But I basically have to be 20 blocks above that block right there. Which is, I think that's the highest block there. Let me, let me just check by using my coordinates. 106 and then over here, 106. So I need to build from Y level 1, 126. I don't know why that took my brain so long. Over there is going to be the harder one because I've got to build over that. Which, that's going to be a fun challenge. That machine's not going to run that long before I have to dismantle it and lower it. But in order to build the actual machine starting from here over, I need it to only be about three blocks wide. But we're going to go a little bit overboard with this just because I can, <laughs> to be honest. Just got to go from here all the way down here to this pillar here, which is the end of this hole we're digging. It'll be right here. And... um. We're just going to ignore that hole right, that I dug earlier. <laughs> I have no idea if my maths are 100% correct on where that ancient city is located, but I think I'm close enough that it's not going to matter. And this minecart keeps breaking because I keep letting the chunks unload. <laughs> this is not meant to be part of the video, but here we go anyway. Yay, the sugar cane farm works again. Anyway, let me show you the machine that we're going to be building. Just pop on over to my creative test world. This thing. Yep, it's a uh, small carpet bomber. So to keep the whole thing loaded, we're just going to sit in it. We're going to flick this lever, which is going to turn that off, and it's going to... Send this whole machine to flying. As we're flying. I didn't know the minecarts made that noise. Anyway, as we're flying, there's going to be a lot of TNT dropping, as you can tell. Okay, let me get out of... Ah, ah, there, that's a little better. But yeah, it's just going to keep dropping TNT as it goes. And the coolest part is it can it can deploy the TNT going forward. And once it hits here, this is going to go in reverse, which is going to start deploying TNT backwards as well. Then once we get here, we have to just have that lit up. And then once it's done, it should dock here in a second. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to be building in today's episode. Just a standard carpet bomber that's just, you know, just par for the course now. So I need to grab the stuff I need to make that real quick. Here's some of the stuff I need right here. I think aside from my obsidian, that's all I should need. Oh no, that's not all I need. You know why? Because I need iron, because I need some iron trap doors. Boom. I should only, well, actually gonna get four of them total. Because we're gonna have to tear down this machine and rebuild it multiple times. And then once we get to the bigger trenches, which actually needed to be a little bit wider, I'm gonna grab some more rockets real quick. We're just gonna need more resources Overall, anyway, let's get to building. I am kind of concerned that due to the proximity of my um, one of my farms, that some of the stuff over by my base might get blown up. But um, it's a risk that you just ah crap. Nope, nope, nope. nope. I wanted to land on that. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm not a good flyer. Anyway, that's just a risk I'm gonna have to take. Let's get rid of this cobblestone here. This looks dangerous. Do 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 do. La la. Oh gosh, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I didn't think any of this through, guys. You know what? I think I needed all that cobblestone. <laughs> And then I'm thinking about it. Ah, I can't land. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm going to die just trying to get onto this pillar. Ah, oh, this is the episode. Me, Vlad, trying to land on the pillar. Me just trying to slow my fall just enough. Nah, fuck you. Ladders. Worst part is I don't have a whole lot of time, so I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to finish this whole thing, but I'm, I'm going to try. 
Ow. I'm trying to hurry because I actually don't have a lot of time before I have to leave again. Yes, in order to keep my dream alive, I have to leave you guys every once in a while. Running a YouTube channel, unfortunately, does cost money. In order to make these videos, I need a day job. However, if you want to, like, support the channel, you could always, you know, like and subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe, all that stuff. If you really appreciate what I do, you can also become a channel member and support the channel that way. It's not required, but it does help out. Makes it where I don't have to run out before these recordings are done. All right, so we got our obsidian there. We got these little temporary blocks, which are gone now. Bye forever. So much easier to build this stuff in a creative test world. I almost forgot. This is actually the part where we start placing the dead coral. So you're just going to go right there. Even though it's not dead yet, it will be dead soon. And that's what makes it nice. Any moment. There it goes. It's dead now. Aren't we all happy? Now I can dupe TNT for us. Only slightly dangerous stuff we're doing here. Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. Luckily, I don't need a whole lot of pistons. I just need the sticky ones. Look at me. Yes. Okay, this part's going to be a lot harder, though. Okay. I've gotten rid of that temporary block. How do I get rid of the two that I put down there? Well, I guess I could. I can reach that. Oh, perfect. Bye. There we go. Boom. And I think it's. There we go. Worked out perfectly. Okay, so this next part. Very important. All right, I need to somehow get over there to get the iron trap door placed. I think I'm going to need to go get more temporary blocks, more of these basically, which means another trip back to the house, which is going to cost me valuable time that I don't have right now. Whatever, I'll do it for YouTube views. How much time do I got? And not that long. I've got so much iron, I could probably just use iron. Just use iron blocks as temporary blocks from now on. Actually, I could probably do that with diamond blocks at this point. I got a lot of diamonds. Uh, we'll just use dirt. I mean, there's a possibility the TNT could drop on this, so... Let me just go ahead and tear this down real quick. All right, there. Now that was a wonderful waste of, well, not really a waste of my time, but wonderful. I need to get rid of the other ones. I'll get rid of it later. While you guys are watching me dick around with temporary blocks and all this stuff, you can also ring that bell. That'll get just alert you to all the fun stuff that I get to do. Also, if you're following me for whatever reason, this is the part where you place this iron trap door and this has to be placed here before we place in the observers. So just, just, Bear that in mind if for some reason you're following this as a guide. Ah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Great news. More slime blocks. They'll go in an L shape kind of like this. And more sticky piston fun, so I gotta... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice and bouncy. Don't ask. Sometimes I don't even know, guys. Bam. You should be facing that. And I think I need more obsidian here. Boom. The thing should... No... It's gone forever. One more sacrificing observers to the void, please. I think one like that facing the back. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm also going to have to. This should have actually been solid blocks. This is the part where I actually need to build the. OK, yeah, I forgot all about that. I will deal with that later. It looks kind of like that. If you guys were wondering, that's just one side of it. You could. Well, no, you can't run it like that because it's not actually complete. But yeah, it looks something like that. But unfortunately, that's all the time that I have for the day. So thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed it, ha! you. I went to work and came back. Now I'm up here and I had to remove the observer because I just realized that as soon as I placed a block in front of it, this thing was just going to take off and I don't want that to happen yet because it'll just keep going because there's nothing to stop it. But I've got some more pieces that I need like uh, this redstone lamp here, which is going to be kind of the trigger mechanism for this whole thing. So now I can remove this and I can put my damn observer back. Look at it. It is beautiful. I can remove you. Bye. Now the downside is I gotta somehow get this guy in there. I think I can do it though, just like this. And boom, bam. And like I said before, I'm just gonna use all my iron because I can. I think that's probably far enough forward. I hope so. And just gotta do a quick little once over, make sure everything's built properly and it looks like it do. Slowly take away my temporary blocks. We wanna have to scaffold right back over there somehow, probably by using temporary blocks. Kind of like this. Perfect. Now, just a quick once over to make sure everything's built right. So looking at the schematic. Yeah, sure, that looks right. I'll know it's wrong when it blows up. Boom. Now it's just repeating literally everything I've done, which is actually the most painful part of doing any sort of build. You guys see the problem, right? Now I got to like get that observer in place and it has to be facing the other way. Do I have any more dirt? Oh, I do have dirt. Give me the dirt. Um, yeah, kind of like that. Boom. And now I can place this observer like that and it should be placed properly. Yes. Yes, it made the flash, but you know, it's fine. Now we just continue <laughs> carefully. So we just got to be <laughs> super careful not to trip that at all. Boom. And now it should be facing me if I yes. That's correct. Good. 
is the exact orientation that I want that one in. Yes. Okay, they're in place. Now I can start working on literally everything else. And just a reverse L like this. Yeah. Perfect. Now for the hard part, as I stated earlier, this trapdoor has to go in first. There is no two ways about this. Because if I did it the other way, it would actually um, start the machine. And we don't... We don't want that to happen. Looks like nighttime is upon us. And it's raining... Oh, it is a thunderstorm. I was about to say, I hope that's not what's going on. Okay. It's all right. We survived. As long as I can. Boop. We are good. All right. So now we just build the front. Kind of like that. And some slim blocks. Kind of like that. And then uh, one step up and go. Beep bop. Good. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I, I just started doing that and it just started coming out and I I don't I yeah give it a boop making sure all that is correct which it looks correct to me okay so this boom triggers that causes that to push everything forward okay yeah it is it is magnificent and I believe it is also built correctly at some point I'm gonna need more coral fans now is not that day but someday I will okay boom so that is in place now so I forgot the redstone to wire this up with, didn't I? I did. It's okay, I don't even have mine cards, so it's all right. Luckily I don't have to travel that far for resources, it's just right there. Now I should probably do the smart thing and move the scaffolding. Boop. Interestingly enough, I collected um, quite a bit of it actually. Anyway, I'm gonna be aiming more for the, well, maybe I can just land on it. I've said that before, it never goes well. <laughs> but I landed up, oh my gosh, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 that was bad. <laughs> And I th think that should do it, actually. All right, the trigger mechanism's in place. So before I test this thing and send it flying, I need to do some math. So at some point, this thing's gonna need to return. Again, I'm just kind of hoping it doesn't blow up my base. I mean, we are starting off fairly far away. I can't be too certain. Did I build it high enough? That's my question. Is this gonna... Should I take down these trees? Did I not build it high enough? This might actually be taller. Um, 108. This is actually two blocks too high right here. All this is. So. Do I remove the trees? Um, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> well, it's going to fall here in these trees. So I don't. Mm, it could be a problem. I already forgot what my target block was. <laughs> I want to say it was 132 or something like that. But I, I legitimately cannot remember. It's like a little landing platform. That I cannot land on, but a little landing platform. I keep... One day I'll get good enough at flying to where I can land on things. Today is just not that day. Also doing some more measuring, staring at the zombie down here. Yeah, I think this will, this will clear out that chunk nice. Might actually extend a little bit further past the chunk, but anyway, that's not, what, that's not what we're here for either. 132, I was right. Awesome. Um... I should probably remember that number now. Off to 132. Again, just winging it, hoping for the best. Same thing with this bamboo farm that just keeps breaking down mysteriously. Ah! And a few temporary blocks can't hurt. Okay. Went too far. There we go. Which will mean that my obsidian that I'll be placing here will be one... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, there we go. 132. Bam. Nice. And I just gotta do this. Like this. So that should be one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And one more for good measure. Why not? Just in case my math sucks. And that should do it. Now I just got to clean all the stuff I used to scaffold up there, the dirt blocks and all that stuff. It needs to go because uh, um, it's just going to get in the way. It might actually cause the machine to fail, break, all kinds of bad stuff. We don't want it. I'm just gonna destroy it all. I love destroying things. I'm sleeping in a tree again. So we've come full circle in this series. Okay, I can probably leave this, to be honest. And yeah, that'll be fine. But this is probably gonna have to go. Oh, crap. Oh, I panicked on that one. Oh, that was bad. All right, I think I'm gonna leave the rest of that. So I'm gonna move from there to over. 
gosh. Uh, the main thing is I just don't want it to stick to the... <sighs> Why? Never look straight up when you fire the rocket. Sometimes it just causes it not to work. And yes, just fired a rocket, rocket to go like five feet in the air when I could have pillared it up. Shut up. I can't even work scaffolding. You guys expect me to think smart like using my rockets and my, my pillaring instead of... Shut up. Uh, maybe I do have to remove more of this because the dynamite can actually... The TNT can actually stick to this. Never mind. I have to take the whole pillar down. This whole part of it. At least... Yeah. At least down to here, it's got to be gone. And that's got to be gone because it's just slightly too tall. I'm going to place some dirt blocks this time just so people aren't upset that I made an observation and then ignored it immediately. All right. Good here. Boom. I got to make my way around this. And mainly what I'm doing is I'm just doing this. Boom, so that's not going to stick there. Move out just a little bit past that, and that way the TNT has little to no chance of actually hitting that, which is what I want. So it does make my life slightly harder because I have to do some more pillaring to get to where I need to place the TNT, but other than that, me. Now for the part that could go very, very wrong. <laughs> yeah, we got to place this. Jump up a block, and... Um, I'm just going to remove this block here first, just in case. And probably that one, too, just because I don't like it. Mm. Good. Good. It's beautiful, and I love it. <sighs> All right. Placing it, not too bad. Boom, boom. It's beautiful. You don't start, you know, puckering up until you place this bad boy here. All right, now we can get rid of the rest of these temporary blocks. And that is it. That's the whole thing built right there. I'm going to... <laughs> Save. <laughs> Just um, make a backup real quick. <laughs> so if something goes horribly wrong. Just saying, something could go horribly wrong. So it's always nice to have a backup. All right, do it live. Well, it flies. I'm very confused as to why the TNT's not duping. Oh, did they not? Oh, they didn't. Wait a second, what? Hang on a second, I think I might have placed something in the wrong place here. Which is fantastic news, it means I have to wait for this to get all the way to the end. Hang on, those noises are... kind of... There, that, there that's much better. Oh crap, I just noticed, uh, nope. Hang on, hang on. Oh crap, oh crap, yep, 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 I need to... No, why are you... Ah, uh, why are you like this? I don't know if it's gonna reverse properly. It is not. Oh. Well, it's working now. Not quite as I had hoped, but it's working now, oddly enough. Is anything destroyed? I mean, aside from the obvious. Is anything I care about destroyed? That's the question I have. Surprisingly, no. Now the fun part, I gotta stay within range of this thing. <laughs> I don't know how it... But it, like, decided it wasn't going to... I must have placed the TNT wrong, but it do seem to work now. I don't know what that was. That's just very weird. But yeah, remember when I said big hole? Uh, big hole. <laughs> big hole. <laughs> Try to build a complicated redstone contraption. It kind of works, but also breaks me slightly. All right, and it should just stop in the stopping bay over here. Right, I shouldn't have to do anything. It should literally just dock right back here. If it doesn't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. All right, hopefully I don't die because there is that possibility too. And uh, it stopped. All right, let's go assess the damage. Oh, why did this not blow up properly? It's fine. Oh, hey, we can, hey, look, look over here, over here. We can peer into the lush cave now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> I have made a weapon of mass destruction in Minecraft. Okay. Um. Obviously, I didn't build the retaining wall far enough back, so I gotta fix that. And then I have to go up here and, uh, obviously get rid of all this doit. But yeah, really, the only thing I was concerned about is, like, having the bamboo farm destroyed. But somebody technically already broke that by... I think it was an enderman that broke it. Because I'm assuming an enderman just picked up the grass block and ran away with it. It's just a part of life. I'm not gonna get upset. Well, I'm a little bit upset, but I'm not that upset. I need that. I'm also gonna need to remember... Oh, here. Here are my sponges. This should help me get rid of some of that water that's gonna slowly leak in. I don't need to fly. It's right there. But yeah, so pretty much the edge of my um, lava and uh, dripstone farm is right here. 
and uh, the other parts of my base that I'm concerned about. Um, they don't actually start till way over here, and it looks like no TNT has wandered off over there. But this place is just thoroughly freaking wrecked. <laughs> uh, the destruction, the chaos. I love it so. Got it. It actually dug down further than I thought. Let's see. Eh, it crossed the chunk border just a little bit. So like, oh. Yeah. Did I put it on the outside of the chunk border? Or did I put it? Oh, I put it slightly on the outside. Well, it's fine. I overshot the chunk border just a little bit. So, oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's a really good thing that I did that extra thing of obsidian because this was on the outside. That was on the inside. Okay. I am super happy that I did that. That would have been bad. Like, really, really bad. Now for the hard part, I gotta land on this thing. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. So I'm not gonna remove the obsidian, but I am going to remove the dirt. Am I gonna? Okay, good. I'm fine. Now we go. <laughs> Actually, now I gotta go down here, because I gotta remove more of this water. It definitely took more of the land than I thought it would. Brought some ladders because I thought I was gonna be able to climb it. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to do that, but I did I did think that, and that should go away soon. But yeah, if you're wondering why exactly I need to take all this water out, it's because any water that's here will actually stop the TNT from going lower. So every time I see liquid like this, I've gotta go clear it out. But I'm not going to, oh, hey, look at another cave. Yay. And look, there's the lush cave down below. <laughs> All right, let's have a look see down here. Cuz this little off there's this little cave offshoot here. And I just got to know. Just got to know what's in it. Definitely have my sword out cuz you never know. Some endermen have definitely been here cuz there's just random grass blocks. Yeah. It's a continuation of the lush cave from above. It's it's nice. It's nice and I love it. And we're going to destroy large parts of this cave in the future. Anyway, I'm not going to continue like getting rid of more liquid until more of that land up there is gone. And that's just for sanity's sake. I'm also going to hope that this also produces TNT going forward because it should have done it forward and backward. And I don't know why it didn't do that. We're going to try it again. And this time I'm going to try to stay in the minecart. Do it again. Uh, why? Why? Why have you done this? I don't understand why it's not producing TNT. It works in my creative world, but it won't work here. But yeah, once I get this down a little bit further, then I'll start worrying about clearing out the water down there. This does mean if I want to go back to the ancient city sooner, for whatever reason, I'm going to have to find a new way down there because I got to actually get rid of some of the water up here that's helping me get down there. But it's not that big a deal. And my poor villagers over there are still terrified, but they're also not surprised that I'm doing this. <laughs> Neither are my sheep. Just look at them. They've been cramped in that little pen, and these guys have just been trapped. And there's my poor cows. We're getting really bored without the explosions. Let me just make sure my theory's right, because if this touches that block, then I know that this is one far, one too far that way. I think it might be. It is. Yeah, that's weird. Why is it only doing it going backwards? Yeah, you can see where the water was. It hasn't really destroyed much, but where the water isn't, it is just tearing a huge chunk out of the land. <laughs> the only real frustrating part about this whole project, aside from, you know, having to go clear out all the water every time, is that um, at some point I got to take this and rebuild it lower because, um, yeah, TNT will explode too soon. We should be docking now. Why did you just, oh, because the bottom piston powered it. Okay, yeah, well. That's okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine with... Let's see if I can get this thing on a drive-by. Nope, because I'm not that smart. Ah! I need to move fast, otherwise it'll break in midair. Move, 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 move. She's still running. So we're good on that front. Let's see if I can't... Nope. Nope, I just smacked right into it. It's no big deal. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there's skeletons and stuff spawning in the holes. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna, you're gonna wish you hadn't done that here soon. All right, and here we go, and reverse. And for some reason, it's gonna start dispensing TNT now. Hope there's nothing camping on this pad over there. Maybe I should have my arrows out just in case. Definitely don't want them to shoot at me while I'm riding this thing. That hole's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. I don't know why, but it just is, all right? There's also that possibility that some parts of the ancient city might get destroyed, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. 
Because honestly, is this not like the coolest thing you've ever seen? Exposing some more of the lush cave down there, and we're gonna come to a stop soon. And I have got to figure out why this thing just refuses to like like going backwards. I'm just absolutely and utterly befuddled by that. Because it should work going both ways, and I don't understand why it doesn't want to. Anyway, uh, bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just the scale of this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just not right. This is legitimately just not right. <laughs> There's a zombie apparently died here. Wow. How you doing down there, friend? <laughs> He's not doing so well anymore. And this is actually... This should actually look somewhat familiar because this is uh, the entrance to the ancient city that I keep showing you guys. Now it's just a tropical fish spawner. I think I walled this off? I can't remember. But yeah, you notice, like, everywhere there's water, it hasn't uh, reduced in size at all yet. Yeah, that's because the TNT is kind of dampening. The water's dampening the TNT explosions, so... We will get that, which is exactly why I got to go through here and uh, get rid of all the water. Oh, look at all the things down there. I have no idea of the horror that's about that awaits them. All it takes is just a well-placed sponge. Let's see, right there should do it, actually. All right, uh, is it going to drain anymore? Another sponge. There, that's draining a little bit more. Okay, so this side is fine. This is where I was exploring a little bit earlier. You son of a bitch. Come here, say that to my face. All right, so let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Yep, yep. All right, so that's done that. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, that goes down for a while, actually. So maybe just, maybe I should wall this off here? How far over does it, uh, quite a ways forward. Grab some of this cobblestone and just wall it off a little bit then. As much as I love swimming with my elytra open. Huh. Didn't know that I connected to that lake. But then again, I wasn't really exploring it all that much. Make sure you're wearing your respiration helmet when you do this. Otherwise, it does not end well. And boom, boom. Shit. Hurry up. Hurry up before I drown. There we go. Honestly, it's so much worse when you're using Elytra. Now this guy, I can just plop that down right like that, and it's gone. Boom. Over here, place a sponge there. That looks good. Place a sponge there. There. I think that's done it. Okay, so there's a hole here and I got to pretty much. Oh, crap. Ah. This at the last second. I was going to miss that. Great. And I've got to make my way through these guys. It's okay. They're just small pockets. I should be able to deal with them quickly before these guys actually become a real problem. Much like that, actually. All right, and it's all disappearing. And I got to go top up on fireworks. And then I gotta clear all this water out here. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Those of you who are slightly adept at redstone, you get to guess exactly the contraption I'm gonna have to help me get rid of all this. Ow. Ah! No! How are you able to spawn here? Go away. No. Die. After my long sleep, I'm gonna go place some blocks. There we go. Ah, it's so sad. It's so sad to see that go. It's alright. If I ever need to, I can always place a water bucket or something like that if I need to go back down to the anxiety city before I have it exposed to the surface. There. Gonna need to get more sand, but yeah. And then boom. So if I've done this correctly, yep. Just making up. What just caused that to break off? Uh, apparently it's placing it too quickly. I'll take those back. Thank you. I'm gonna need more sand. Yeah, it's just a zero tick smart piston. Like I said, I need more sand. So one moment. I didn't think it would be this long to build this one side of the trench, but here we are. Ow. Get rid of this top layer here. Grab that because I don't want to lose. I have to go on the hunt for sand. I could just rebuild this a little bit further down, but I'm just going to manually place sand here. Boom. Something like that. And now I just start placing sponges. Ah! 
That was horrifying for a second. Oh, wow, that goes... Oh, I missed a spot. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. That's very weird to look at. <laughs> I'm going to wall it off <laughs> so I don't have to look at it. Now this I can just deal with by doing that. And boom, it's all gone, and now I'm trapped in this hole. Reclaim my sponge. Reclaim some of the sand. Uh Oh, that's... That, okay, yeah. That's no big deal. There we go. And we just rinse and repeat until this whole thing is um pretty much empty. And I might have to actually go procure some more sand. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that now. Well, damn. I mean, here's a little bit of the sand. I'm going to need a lot more sand. Yeah, a couple of them are popping off, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It didn't even get all the way to the edge. Now that's kind of crazy. All right, skeletons are rattling, which is not really a good sign. I don't know where they're rattling, but I do know that they're rattling. And I don't like it. And switch to this. Go down here, because all this is going to have to be walled off, too. Going to do this one, and that is because it's going to... I don't have to keep going back and... Yeah. Oh, it's still shooting it out. That's weird. That's weird. Don't know why it does that. Okay, apparently I'm just really good at building these. My game is acting very quirky today, and I don't understand why. Don't worry, I will be fine. <laughs> oh, the zombies are here. What? Where are you coming from? Where are you? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, really? At least I know how I'm getting out. It's gonna look something like that. Ow. Reclaim some of this. Now I'm gonna shut this camera off and I'm gonna finish uh, draining that hole and we're going to try to, like, dig out some more of this hole. Okay? So, see you guys in a minute. And we're back. It's literally first thing in the morning. I just uh, finished the thing. I'm not even awake and I gotta go to work here in a few minutes. So, cheers to that, I guess. But if you look, there's a nice big hole where um, that little uh, lake used to be. Yep, all the water's gone, and that took longer than I care to admit. But it's done now, so we can continue <laughs> doing whatever this is. I think I might have figured out what's been causing this not to dupe, and I think it's just that I was missing these two blocks here. Yeah, I never put them in, and I don't know why, but they're in now, so I'm going to test this again and see... If it, if, if it, if it do work. So here we go. I'm a genius. The question is how low does this thing actually reach? I guess I'll just find out. Oh, I heard an explosion there. A couple explosions. So this must be higher up on the ground than everything else, which honestly kind of makes sense. Are we destroying any parts of my farm? No, we're good. I left a bunch of torches down there because mobs can now spawn in this area. So this huge trench right here is uh, kind of dangerous. Not just because of mobs spawning, but also because I keep dropping TNT on it. <laughs> right, and we should be docking now. Oop, there were some explosions still. They're going to have to run it a couple times, and now we just... Ooh, there's more water. Fantastic. So we found another uh, little... Oh, gosh. Ah! I'm still falling. Okay. Don't have time to fall. Somebody else do the falling. Up, oh. up. Oh. I found friends. That's unfortunate. At least we have access to this nice little cave over here, which I guess is kind of a nice thing. But yeah, this thing just digs. <laughs> it digs a trench. Ooh, copper. I think this right here might be the furthest I can get down. But we just gotta blow everything else up to finalize everything. So it might already be time to. I left a sponge? How did I do that one? Do I have... Okay, hang on. Uh, 30... 35. Yeah, I just left a sponge laying around. Never picked it up this whole time. And we're exposing some of the lush cave below, which will be fun. It's like... I can, I can almost, like... In a couple more levels, I can literally just fly down to the ancient city and double check my math. Just got some random water sources chilling out here. It's no big deal. All we gotta do, it's any temporary block now. Do that, and it's 
It's done and gone. Once all the water sources are gone, we can continue blasting this area. And it appears that this is a little bit bigger. So, it's gonna... Ooh, it's much bigger than I thought. Okay. Let's... Stop it. It's fantastic. I'm wasting sponges now. Because I didn't think it was that big. But yeah, here, I'm not entirely worried about it. So yeah, I primarily left this up because I didn't really think it was going to be a problem. It turns out, um... I might have been wrong about that. Am I going to try to get rid of it? No. <laughs> I'm just going to keep pushing this wall back until um, I don't have this problem anymore. Am I going to use all my building blocks to do it? Probably. But it is a risk that I am willing to take. I think I have time to run this puppy again. Uh, see if we're ready to move down. If we hear, well, right here and right there are going to be the hardest ones to clear out, I think. Because, yeah. I This is just not cleared out because... Um, it hasn't been detonating here as often. And same thing goes over there. So we just need to detonate it a little bit more and uh, good things will happen. But I've actually got to finish recording here. I will get back to you guys later because I think we're going to dig this whole trench. Well, either we're going to dig this whole trench or we're going to do the whole or at least half of this perimeter of trench built. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Time skip. Things have happened. Um, I've already lowered the machine a little bit. I built it on the um, this side, which is closer to the base. So reasons for that is uh, because I'm I can actually, well, honestly I don't know. It's just closer to the, my base if I need more resources, which I've had to go get more resources since the game crashed twice. I don't know why it just did. Um, it was saying some kind of graphical error or something like that. So like one of the things it like specified was oh yeah like. Um, God, what is it? Recording software could also cause it to crash. Um, but like it said, like graphical error or something like that. So I went and I, um, um, I changed my shader settings back to the unbound, not the unbound, the, uh, reimagined shaders. Um, and then I went to open OBS and OBS was like, oh, we didn't shut down properly. So like maybe OBS was doing something in the background that I wasn't aware of. I don't know. But I ran the machine again at this height and it hasn't crashed. But every time it crashed, it stopped the machine. I had to rebuild it, which is why there's a block of TNT up there now. <laughs> I'll eventually get that down, but I had to rebuild this thing like three times already. Not including this one. But yeah, I ran it recently and uh, we get to go check out something really cool that you don't really get to see a whole lot of. I'm going to find a place to set my ender chest down and grab some more rockets. I've also had to make more rockets with uh, how many times I've... Uh, yeah, I need to go get more gunpowder and make more, but yeah. But yeah, this bit right here actually broke off. Um, and that's because like I didn't clear out a platform low enough here. So one of the TNT detonated, which flung another T close enough to destroy that and the TNT on the side. Well, it actually destroyed the coral and then the TNT just lit itself. And I also did that thing where I forgot these blocks, so it only dispense TNT on the way back. So yeah, I did that. But here's the cool thing. Um, we're now starting to slice in to the caves. Oh, shh. that was almost really bad. We're starting to slice into more of the caves. So we're starting, we, we are seeing a lot more of this type of stuff being exposed, which is cool. Yeah. And um, we got some cool little structures. And if you follow this down a little bit more over here, I believe, is the oh get myself into trouble hang on hang on bad down that way i believe is the no maybe mm. no that's a different area somewhere around here i th think i'd have to go that way a little bit actually and uh and then down a lot and you'll run into that ancient city well you could probably could if you found a hole that goes deep enough over here i believe in fact, I think this hole, yeah, this hole actually does lead down to that ancient city. It's just off that way. It's a lot of fish dying, by the way. I'm starting to get used to that that noise. It's like the chirping of birds at this point. But yeah, if you use like a grid pattern, you could use this to find ancient cities too. If you were really this desperate and like, if you knew roughly where one might be, you could use this to find an ancient city as opposed to like exploring. But yeah, now I got to go through and um, clear out as much of the water that's starting to pop up as I can. I just, re this just popped up. This is just like a small little, like, 
water source here. Oh gosh. This guy's desperate to try to kill me. No. Bye. Okay, I heard a creeper. Like I said, these tunnels are now super dangerous. But yeah, we do have some water sources popping up. These ones, unfortunately, I need to deal with by using the sponges. Which that I will do off camera because it's boring as hell. Same thing with this water source. And look, more of the lush cave. Go ahead and take a small little dive down in here. See what we got, and got going on. As you can tell, I've been here before. A long time ago. But I was, ow. I was here before. So long ago, it was like, yeah. No. 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 Bad. Ooh, there's lava coming from the ceiling. And I believe that goes to one of my skelly farms, which is going to go bye-bye. Okay, well, I've had enough of this little area, so we just need to fly right on out. And over on this side, nothing really too spectacular, I don't think. Yeah. Not really. I could pick up some of the ores and stuff, but yeah, I'd rather not. But, um... Yeah, we just got to do this pretty much either until we expose a part of the ancient city that I don't want to destroy or until we hit bedrock, one of the two. So for this video, I think we're going to try to get this as close to the ancient city or to bedrock as I can. Then I will show you guys the um, how we're going to dig out the larger 15 wide trenches from there all the way down. Well, here, let me actually fly up and show you. So from this trench all the way out to roughly here-ish. Yeah, here. Yeah, because this trench has to be 15 wall. Wow. <laughs> 15 wide. <laughs> it's okay. I guess once I see the destruction, I'll definitely want to keep building this. <laughs> the only ugly thing about it is that we have some blocks like this that are flying around. Um, not too big on that, but I mean, I could always like come back in later and uh, destroy it. I definitely need to destroy that before something happens. <laughs> I can imagine one day there's going to be a lightning storm and it's going to strike that and it's going to destroy something I care about. But for now, I've got some more work to do. So I'm going to do that thing again where I, um, you know, just jump cut to whenever I have that work done. And we're back. And as you can tell by the look of things, uh, we are making uh, some progress. Also, when you switch to F5 mode, it looks completely unhinged. Yeah, we're starting to see lava. We're also starting to see diamonds. I did pick up a couple diamonds, which is fantastic. So far, the biggest hiccup in this whole project has been water. And here in a few seconds, it's going to be lava and obsidian, probably. If we go down anymore, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to quite reach the lava layers, but that might not be necessary, honestly. Over here, we might start to get some liquid forming because I just patched up some water around here. But as you can see, we're just tearing through everything. Oh, that was actually close enough to here. Then somewhere around here is an amethyst geode that I didn't know was there that I just tore, probably just tore through, actually. <laughs> I also found a couple of slime chunks going through here, which is useless because by the time we get done digging this hole, we'll be in deep dark layers. In fact, we're already reaching deep dark layers, which is why there's not a whole lot spawning in here. Things can spawn over there. Things can spawn over there. Well, sort of. So the lice might uh, stop that from happening. Also, I accidentally blew up the machine and uh, had to go gather more resources and rebuild it. That was, uh... and like I said, right over there is there's some water. Probably should have started the video when I was on my way back, but um, too late now. We're just doing it live. And away we go. Honestly, I think this one looks even more unhinged because you can actually see where the TNT is falling. Also, just to... Oh, I forgot to turn the... <sighs> uh, so we're riding through this again. Got it. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it probably landed somewhere around there. And whoom, we don't really have a whole lot longer to go. Because I saw something earlier. That... Uh, Gave basically just reassured me that uh, we were getting close and I never knew this massive cavern was down there, but yeah. Oh, oh, it just dawned on me how long I've been digging with my tunnel bore. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure my tunnel bore, <laughs> this is where I started my overworld tunnel bore, by the way. So yeah, that thing's it's digging past the bedrock, too. Oh, that's fantastic. But yeah, um, I've completely dug under the ocean with my tunnel bore. Yeah, so I guess we can go all the way to bedrock. Uh, all right. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to sleep just yet because uh, nothing's going to spawn down here. That uh, can hurt me at least. Yeah, this is going to be such a problem because this all has to go, including the obsidian. That's the worst part because 
The obsidian, unfortunately, doesn't explode too well. I could probably detonate it around it, but either way, at some point it would have to go because the other machine that I have of clearing this off cannot dig through that. Well, I mean, I'm going to stop it before it digs through the ancient city, but it cannot dig through that. Oh, by the way, this is the edge of the ancient city. We are literally that close to it. But yeah, I had... <sighs> I had no idea that my... <laughs> Oh, some of these, some of this makes sense. Some of this actually makes sense now, because I was, ah, oh, this was, I branched mine literally right underneath this. Ah. Oh. Wow, that is. <laughs> the things my character have done in this world are just completely unhinged. That means that right over here was probably. This pesky little bastard. These little guys have been bugging me this whole time. See how dangerous this is. Um, I would argue very dangerous. So some of these have pathways have actually uh set off uh sensors, but um yeah. <laughs> I never dealt with them. I just kept going past them because I never set off a shrieker. But yeah, uh this massive trench is um unhinged. Unhinged is all hell, and somehow still producing slimes. Even though we're in the deep dark. Deep dark? It's like, guys. And fortunately for me, there's no good way of dealing with all this. Ways of dealing it, yes. We, I have those. I'm trying to do one of them. It's just not working very well. There we go. So far, this project has been very sand heavy. Be prepared to uh, dig up an incredibly egregious amount of sand if you ever attempt this, by the way. No, up, 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 up. There we go. Man, I could have swore that somewhere around here there was a zombie that won't despawn because he picked up some sand. You might have gotten blown up. It's been par for the course for a lot of things here today. Don't know why that is. It's just it's just what it's just what happens, guys, all right? Things just blow up. And uh I am not responsible for that happening. Whenever I've been given an opportunity to fill a hole, I filled that hole. Built so much it gives me dirt back. Fill it so full there'll be no way for that hole to become empty ever again. Talk about holes in the wall, by the way. Oh my gosh. It, I was monologuing here, man. Go away. Go. No, go. Now for the more important question. <laughs> uh it's just something about what I'm seeing here is just uh, if they're worth it, such a thing as uh, hinges in this game, um, this wouldn't have one because it is, uh, it's, uh, unhinged. I'm just gonna dump sand in it and hopefully it works. Also, look at this, we kind of made a shrine on accident. And lava is by far the worst to get rid of. Trust me, I've, uh, it's, it's just, uh, so hard to work with this stuff. Diamonds, though, and those are forever. Or until I destroy them. <laughs> this nerd over here, get killed. Oh, I get to do it again. Yay, more slime. I wonder how many diamonds I've already destroyed. It's probably a number I don't want. I mean, why is this one all by itself? I mean, sometimes that does happen, but most of the time I find usually one or two in close proximity to each other. So that, um, I think it's more or less the case that I might have destroyed them. Okay, so for this I have, well, not a lot of options actually. It's really gonna be only one way of getting rid of all this. And uh, you're witnessing it now. I spent so much time collecting all this, and I'm probably gonna blow it up <laughs> instead of trying to collect it back. Oh, hey, 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 oh, hey, ha, ha. Let's see, it's gone. Ha, ha. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, uh, some of my sand died. I'm gonna be here for a minute. On the bright side, I will not need more obsidian for a while. All right, but anyway, you kind of see what I have to do, and I have to do that. <sighs> I think I'll have to move this down one more and then do one final run through here, which is still going to be very dangerous because not far beyond this wall is this part of the ancient city. So hopefully it'll be OK. But with that, I'm going to end the video for now, and I will uh, give you an update whenever I have one. This video might be very late. Long jump cut. We're back and uh, update. Um, So good news is we're down to bedrock layer. Pretty much all the way here. I think we're done running the machine, which is good because I moved it down for the final time and um something uh happened. I think it was mostly my fault. Let me explain. We were good doing good. I had the um stop blocks over here and all that. And as you can see, there's a few uh bits that are just um just kind of stuck. Um that's because some of the TNT hit a ledge and um blew up with me riding the machine, by the way. So yeah, some of my materials I'm gonna have to literally pluck out of the air. So there are a couple of little spots here and there. Like I said before, I don't really need to get them taken care of. 
This lava, um, I'm just gonna have to be careful with, because, like, really, it's not a problem right now. It's not even gonna be a problem when the machine I'm trying to run, uh, gets up and running. I'm gonna try really hard not to let any of this stuff get destroyed in the lava. At least we're able to recover some of the blocks that I use. The obsidian, I've literally got about two stacks at this point, so I'm just gonna let that just... This part's really just for liquid overflow in case there's, like, any sort of liquid that could potentially destroy the machine that I'm wanting... wanting... <sighs> Wow, I am broken. The machine that I'm wanting to create, if it uh, runs into any liquid or anything like that, it's going to be able to handle it pretty well, but there's always that off chance that uh, something could happen. So instead of uh, just uh, letting whatever happens happens, we're just going to have this trench here. It'll, allow, it'll give the, the liquid a place to go that uh, won't be able to um, fill up the trenchers or anything like that and uh, cause issues with the machine. But yeah, in terms of actually getting it cut out, really, I just needed... Um, not this chunk, but the chunk right next to it, to be clear. And pretty much it's, for the most part, cleared all the way down to bedrock. And we are going to make more passes over this thing anyway with other explosives later on. And in a much wider pattern, too. Well, maybe I should do something about the lava over there, but um, I currently do not have uh, fire resistance potions. So I'm just going to avoid that. <laughs> this right here does need to come down. Oh, crap. I... That was almost very bad. Did I... I did. Okay. I didn't think I picked up the uh, redstone lamp, but I was wrong. So I may or may not have dismantled the trigger mechanism for the machine. Well, part of the machine. That's just to make sure I didn't do something dumb and cause it to fly off into the ether. So this chunk's not important. It's the chunk next to it. So yeah, pretty much big line down to bedrock. And uh, we're just gonna <laughs> take a quick look at this because this just looks <laughs> insane. That's the ancient city right there. We can fly back like this. And literally, if I just Swoop in right here. That's the ancient city. I probably argue that I made it a lot easier to get down here now. I just got to be careful and not fall into lava. Okay, that block marks the edge here, and now we've got to make a trencher from here all the way over there. We look for what I think is the highest treetop, and whoop. Actually, kind of missed it. So this right here, I believe, is. Yeah, pretty much the highest one. Target block minus 29, 118. Okay, 118 is the number to remember, which means that I need to build this machine at one at Y138. So yeah, I'm just gonna jot that down. Okay, I immediately look this way. I'm like, oh crap, I'm definitely wrong. And then I look this way. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'm not. <laughs> so I'm thinking it might actually be easier to build it starting at Y level 138. And starting over here, to be honest. So stick with me on this. Um, in order to pillar up, it's not going to take nearly as much effort to pillar up from there as it would to pillar up from there. That's, that's basically the gist of it. So the harder part, <laughs> I got to cut through this freaking mountain here. <laughs> on the right side, this part from... Ah! From here all the way that way only has to be... The uh, small little trenchers. The one coming towards this thing is going to be um, basically four of those trenchers instead of just the three. But it's just the whole fact that we have to build this thing up so freaking high. It's going to be so high, so high, like me high, higher than me. So the other one has to be a build at 138. This is going to be at 176. So still within the build height. So I th think it's doable. Then the other big one has to start here and go that way. And uh, guess what? It has to go over this. <laughs> Basically just going to go all the way to this chunk edge and just measure the tallest point I see, which is probably going to be this right here. This, 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 these little bits of, like, treetop. If I can... Poor decision making on my part. Don't know what that's about. All right, and target block 148. So, yeah, the tallest point is just going to be getting to this spot. And, uh... Yeah, but we've carved out. <laughs> Sorry, looking at that just kind of hits different. We got that thing from the top down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, F3 and G off, please. Thank you. We don't need that. Uh, it gives you a much different perspective on the world. Of course, my obsidian is just floating here. <laughs> at some point, I should probably take down that obsidian. Again, just looking at it from the top down, it just looks... <laughs> 
mildly terrifying, actually. <laughs> Just judging by what you're doing, you guys can probably guess what I'm what I'm trying to do. This is where we're going to wrap it up for the day, folks. Thank you guys so much for coming out. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section down below over our, or over on the Discord server, which will be a link in the description. And, um... Yeah, all that stuff. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member of my meme cult by subscribing. You can also become a channel member. Uh, just click below and pay your tithe as a cult members, and you'll get nice little perks like members only live streams, stuff like that, and special emotes and all that stuff. Or you can send me a one-time offering in the form of a super thanks. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching it. If you enjoyed it, feel free to show me some love down below by hitting the like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. Now I'll see you in the next video.